So here we are. I asked ChatGPT, should I become a doctor or a software engineer? And the answer is on the lines of, oh, it depends. And if you like saving lives, go become a doctor. If you like solving technical problems, go become a software engineer. So I thought that this answer was very meh, to say the least. Um, let's see if I gener regenerate this response, is it going to give me a better response? Here you go. It's a tough decision to choose. Becoming a doctor requires a lot of dedication and hard work and software engineering is not. All right, we'll see. It can be very rewarding and offers a good balance between work and personal life. I like that. Both careers can be very fulfilling. Okay, so their intro was a little bit better. But the gist of the answer is still the same. Consider your strength and interests. All right, let's 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 look at this again. So it says that becoming a doctor requires a lot of dedication and hard work as it is a demanding profession and it requires a strong commitment to helping others. On the other hand, a career in software engineering can be very rewarding and offers a good balance between work and professional life. That is very true. Being a doctor, you are given inhuman number of hours to finish your shifts and in software engineering most of the times 99% of the times it is much more balanced work in personal life unless you're working in a crazy or a crazy startup or a toxic environment um the second thing is that it's like okay the same answer as if you want to make a difference in the world that being a doctor might be a right choice for you these are all good and these are kind of like general knowledge answers what this AI tool failed to do that a human can do is kind of go into the nuances of what if you have equal amount of interest in becoming a software engineer or a doctor? Now, how do you choose? Only a human could is going to be able to answer this question because now this human will ask you some follow up questions. If you have the same amount of interest in both careers, let's talk about something else. What is it that you want to get out of this career? Say 10 years down the line, what do you see yourself doing? What are your life goals? What are your career goals? What are your financial goals? In fact, this is a very interesting story. I was sitting at the same lunch table with three cardiologists. They were probably the same age as me, maybe two or three years older actually. And we were talking about financial independence and I shared how I achieved financial independence three years ago. And they said, I kid you not, these cardiologists who are the highest paid doctors in the country of the United States, they were like, oh, we just started making a decent income a couple of years ago. So financial independence for us is at least 10 years down the line, if not more. And that was just so mind blowing to me because I think the purpose of a career is of course to give yourself this fulfillment with work but it is also supposed to solve some of our financial needs and when I dug in and I asked these doctors they absolutely regretted or say that they did not enjoy ridiculous hours throughout so many years that they've put in already but now that they've become doctors and they are kind of um you know smoothly sailing into the profession things have become a little bit more laid back but they lost almost 10 years of their lives so i feel like that nuance of the human interaction was missing from this answer because all i wanted to know was how these doctors felt emotionally and compared to them to a to a prospective student, I would give the answer as going into software engineering was one of the best decisions of my life. One, because I enjoyed it. The fact that programming gave me a lot of joy was amazing. Two, I did not have to spend a lot of money getting even a master's degree. There's a nuance and if you want to know how much money software engineers need to spend to get into big tech companies, watch this video. I'll, I'll put it down in the description box but I did not have to spend $500,000 on my degree. In fact, mine was less than $50,000. And first year into my job, I started making $90,000. So I was done with my student loans in less than 18 months. But most of the doctors, the cardiologists that I was talking to, 
they were paying back their student loans for the next eight to 10 years. And if anybody knows from 2010 to 2020, a little bit before 2020, it was a bull run in the market. So I got a big head start starting to pay off my loans and start investing all of the extra money that I had. Most of my money grew and because I kept my, I lived way below my means, I was able to invest and save a lot. And within nine years of starting my career, I deemed myself to be financially independent. And now I'm doing things that matter to me and that I feel like are making a bigger difference than moving buttons around for a large corporation. Just last week, I was able to help this 18 year old coming from um, a poor family and explain to him what career options he has and how he can build his life. I don't think I would have the bandwidth to help others if I was working 40, 60, 80 hours myself because we all know what happens when you're so damn engrossed in the only career that you have. There is there's no time left for helping others. So again, those are the human nuances that this AI did not capture. And if I were to give this answer to a prospective student, it would be completely different than what they mentioned. Um, they just mentioned that be, being a doctor is harder work. Um, you will be able to help people and make a difference in the world. And if you enjoy technology and enjoy solving problems, then a career in software engineering is better for you. But again, you could be using a lot of technology and solve problems being a doctor and you could be helping a lot of people and making a difference in the world by being a software engineer so here's my analysis of what ai can do versus a human what are your thoughts have you worked or played around with chat gpt i am very excited about this tool and um in my next video, I'm going to talk about all the APIs that they are offering, what kind of businesses and companies and solutions are possible with this tool. It is just mind blowing. So let me know if you want me to make that video and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.